So lastly, I wanted to talk about safe application, which includes wearing all of your PPE, of course. Now, before we begin the application, we really need to have a walk around and make a game plan and conduct a risk assessment. We need to imagine that as we are spraying, the product can drift onto certain areas or objects that we may not want it to. For example, if the kids' toys are still everywhere, or the shoes are still out, if we have washing on the line, or the windows and doors are still open. And is anybody else around? One of the biggest risks when spraying externally is also the drift. This could be drifting over the fence onto the neighbour's washing, or maybe the product ends up in the gutters, which, if you're on tank water, could end up in your drinking water. Or even just into drainage and onwards into the creeks or rivers. This is particularly concerning because birds and aquatic life are highly sensitive to most products. So covering fish ponds or moving bird cages is crucial, and keeping pets like dogs away until the product dries is also really important. And of course, after the application, if it ends up on door handles or windows or where your partner or children will come into direct contact with it, this could create an adverse reaction if they're sensitive. Well, we'll get into a few more details as we get into each pest or service, but the main thing is we've considered the risks before beginning any application. Naturally, the best way is to avoid an incident rather than have to clean up the wayward spray afterwards. Happy days, guys. Let's get stuck into our first DIY pest job. Hi guys, hope you're enjoying the DIY series. If you are, it would mean a lot to us if you can give us a like and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. We make content here every week. Cheers guys.